Welcome to this Ovada warehouse. We are Bambino De Loro. We play music for you always. <laughs> <laughs> Bambino De Loro, and we are in the Ovada warehouse. We've been here for the past two weeks, setting up for um, two days of performance with uh, support acts. We've been playing around with the space, exploring the acoustics, developing weird and interesting contraptions uh, out of various parts like bike wheels and oil drums. Yeah. Um, Swinging cymbals with lights on them. The yeah. idea being, that, what's the idea behind that? Nicola, in there? Um, so if that, the symbol goes over your head, the certain frequencies. Yeah, so the uh, symbols radiate frequencies and different uh, different frequencies in different directions. So you have a shifting pattern of frequencies as it hovers over your head, and you also get a nice Doppler effect, which yes. is like wee. Yeah. So all the people sitting on the on the ground underneath the symbols get that kind of effect. Um, so what we were trying to do is to actually kind of um, understand what the acoustic possibilities of this Avada warehouse was, explore them, try and take advantage of them. Um, so in this case, we did a lot of walking around the space because we've got a, a nice um, two-level structure. There's a bit of a mezzanine up there so we can walk around. So one of the performances was walking up and down the stairs in time and using percussion that was sort of strapped to the, to the stairs and hitting on the walls and various other things like that. Some of the contraptions we made were bicycle wheels attached to various other bits. So for example, a bicycle wheel attached to a big oil drum. So we spin it and uh, had a little zip tie um, sticking out of the oil drum and uh, touching the spokes of the wheel, so you get that dingy dingy effect. And the great thing about the oil drum is uh, the sound was transmitted from uh, the little zip tie to the oil drum and then was dispersed throughout the whole structure and had this really nice natural reverb to it. We were working with uh, visual artist Emma Lilworm and her partner Sam. And they, when we, we sent out a call for artists, and the main thing that attracted uh, us to them is when they mentioned that they'd already accumulated four or five pianos for the, for the project. Um, and we found it really hard to not choose them. and four of which we destroyed and stacked up on the tower to make a huge reverb chamber. Yeah, we played into the saxophone and clarinet and created an amazing reverb.
headlined both nights doing an extended performance longer than we would normally do so we sort of played for a bit over an hour on each night which was great because we got to play all our sort of you know older material plus material utilizing the space as we were talking about before um, but on top of that we also had some really awesome uh, support uh, that we also we also I guess tried to choose artists that we thought would really work with an acoustic space as well
token I'm in over my head again Like a honeybee to clover I see the heart of the foe By the barroom door as friends of mine I thought my last would be my last But I was wrong, I guess recorded um, an album, recorded it in Paris a few um, weeks ago and the concept of the album we decided was going to be based on um, this space, the Ovada Warehouse space, because through our residency we came across all these interesting sounds and um, atmosphere sounds and bits and pieces, so we've been going around recording them. And the idea is to sort of yeah, incorporate the, the live concept into the album concept and sort of have it all integrated to, in, sort of, in the same sort of thing, yeah. Exactly, he's right.